Scotty Kramer. I'm a professional BMX rider. Well, I used to be a professional BMX rider. I'm currently an amateur walker, um, but I'm on the tracks of trying to become, you know, a semi-bit good on a BMX bike again. <laughs> It was the final stop of the Dew Tour 2006, and I was currently second place in points. Daniel Durst at the time, he was in first place, and he brought a new trick to the competition. The first one to ever front flip the spine, like consistently, complete wow factor. And I'm sitting there showing up at this event thinking, all right, I'm screwed. I got zero new tricks for this one. I need something big to put an exclamation point on my run. Well, there's two tricks that are going through my mind. It's the triple tail, which one person did at the time, and then the double back flip was going through my mind. I was about 18 or 19 at the time, and I hadn't tried it since I was 15 years old, and I never successfully landed on a ramp. I tried it on a ramp once, I bailed off the bike, I bent my handlebars, so. Leading up to this run, I was going back and forth. Which one am I gonna do? Literally, I dropped in, I was in the middle of the run, I jump into this curve wall ride leading up to it, and I was still on the fence, and I decided the last second, double backflip it is. So I go off the lip, I pull as hard as I possibly can, but I pulled so hard that instead of staying balled up in the rotation, my body opened up slow, and I was just on for the ride. I didn't know up from down, I'm rotating, I land, Boom, front wheel hits, I immediately just go straight to my face. No hands get out or anything. So all of a sudden you see two teeth go sliding across the ground. Not even a full month before this, I fell at my skate park and I knocked out these two teeth. So now I got all four teeth out at this point. So I'm on the ground. I don't recall really much of anything at this point. My face is pretty cut up. I did my chin, my lips were really bad. My teeth were clearly out of my mouth. They were evaluating me for concussion stuff. You know, of course they're like, yeah, you gotta go to the hospital. So we were in the back and I remember we were waiting to get a ride and we were gonna attempt to catch our flight, which was only an hour after this. So we go to the airport, I'm walking like a zombie. I have to go through security. I look like a complete mess. I got no teeth in my mouth. There's blood all over my face. I don't know how they let me on this plane, but they did. Here I get to my seat and I remember there's this old couple that was sitting next to me and I fell asleep on the plane and I woke up on the plane and I looked down and there is just blood all down my shirt. It's just streaming down my face. And I, I come to and I, I glanced over and this poor old couple was looking at me like, I look like at that movie like 28 days later. It looked like there was like a plague about to happen and I was the start of this one. <laughs> like it was so bad. And I said, they looked at me and I, what do you do? You can't smile or anything. <laughs> I just kind of like apologized and I wiped the rest of it off and just kind of went back to myself. I scared, I completely scared the hell out of this old couple on there. And I got back home, I had to go get my teeth put back in, which is a complete nightmare. And that was like the stupidest crash I've ever had on my bike. That was the first time on my bike I did something that wasn't calculated, when I just completely rolled the dice and it just goes to show. You know, if you don't think about things like that, stuff happens, you know, and you turn into a zombie on a plane. <laughs> Well, if you guys enjoyed Classic Tales, make sure you click here to watch some more.